Here we are on the Coast Guard Cutter Bertoff. Uh, over the past couple of months, we've installed a uh, Fire Scout unmanned aircraft system on board the National Security Cutter, the Bertoff being the first of the class. It, um, it enables the ships to extend its eyes over the horizon to give a much bigger picture of what's going on in the oceans. Uh, since we've been underway, we've been uh, testing this system out or, or demonstrating this system, try, evaluating its uh, uh, possible contribution to the Coast Guard. It's, um, it's a very high performing system. See, the aircraft you see in back of me and the one that's in the hangar, that's Navy owned. So the Navy brought the aircraft to the party, and so it's a true partnership uh, that uh, they, they're getting an understanding of what it takes to integrate on board the uh, Coast Guard Cutter, and we're getting an understanding of how these things can be integrated and used by the Coast Guard. Once we're on the, uh, board the ship here, go through a series of evaluations where we're doing a um, dynamic interface, understanding how the aircraft interacts with the ship and the wind envelope around the ship. Lots of engineering involved. We have lots of uh, technicians, engineers, data collectors on board the ship uh, to, uh, to evaluate all those parameters to say whether uh, each touchdown we do of the aircraft and each takeoff and, uh, is, uh, is within the uh, uh, safe operating conditions for the aircraft. The second series of tests will involve evaluating the uh, technology with the use of the radar on board the aircraft. Understanding how it can um, contribute to the mission performance, detecting surface targets, uh, basically expanding the uh, eyes of the ship. We've been looking at uh, different alternatives for the Coast Guard to use in the realm of unmanned aircraft. Uh, we've tested small ones. Uh, as you know, we were on board uh, Stratton and Bertoff uh, a couple of years ago looking at small UAS performance. Uh, the Fire Scout is the larger big iron type solution with uh, has, has more payload capacity and from a shipboard uh, launch and recovery perspective, the most payload uh, capacity you can have. So we understand now the range of options that are available to the Coast Guard from the, from the small, less capable to the bigger, more capable, and now the, uh, decisions can be made about what, uh, what level of performance uh, the Coast Guard needs. I've been working in this program for uh, about seven years. I've been trying to uh, uh, all different phases of UAS, and this, is, this particular demonstration is kind of the culmination of about seven years worth of work. We've done a lot of um, stuff with the small UAVs in the past, but uh, getting this one uh, with the larger, more uh, capable UAS on board the ship has been a challenge uh, up until now, and uh, seeing it actually on board the ship and uh, flying off, it kind of puts a, a little bit of an exclamation mark on a lot of years of hard work with both me and my team. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and the rest of, uh, and rest of the crowd. So this is, uh, puts, a nice, uh, puts a nice end on things.
ultimately you check all the boxes.
you please come home? I tried in vain. It was no more to call your name. Yeah, now since you left, you broke my. 